Hey guys, welcome to the tribe. My name is Cody Hoffein, the founder of Real Estate Freedom Formula, the number one wholesaling coaching program in the nation. And today we are going to be talking about the motivated seller script, the number one script out there for talking to motivated sellers. Now, in this video down below, we've included a link so that if you wanna print off a copy, get a downloaded version of this and go along with me, you can. Because in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the script and how powerful it is so that you can start getting deals. Now, let's get to business right this second. So, let's get into number one. First of all, let me give you a little background about it. And that is motivated seller script. When do we use this? How do we use this? For many individuals watching this, Maybe you already are working like a nine to five. You have a full-time job. That's how it was when I started. So what I would do is I would set up where if I was sending out marketing, they were calling in and leaving a voicemail. Now we can talk about that more in another video about that little setup. We're gonna get right to the script, but for most people, they don't have the time to answer these calls live when leads are coming in. So I'm gonna go off based off if you're having them call to a voicemail and now you're getting back to those leads. So let's get right to it. Number one, it says this, I was getting back to you about the home you have available. So if someone just left a uh, voicemail, maybe your simple voice message that was just like, hey guys, uh, or hey, sorry, I missed your call. Uh, please leave your name, please leave your number and the address of the property and I'll get back to you just as soon as possible. So that's what you would do. When you call them back, they leave a voicemail, you call them back, hey, just get back to you about the home you have available. Now, why do I start with this? Because there's some people that are gonna call you actually and they're, they're not gonna be happy. They're not, looking to, to, uh, they're not looking to be, sorry, I have my watch beeping right there. Uh, they're not looking to actually sell a property. They're actually trying to get removed off your list. So by asking this question, you're gonna pull that out of them right out of the gate. They're gonna be like, nope, I have no property available. Nothing's, nothing's for sale, take me off your list. By asking that first, I can get to that question or that, that their pain point instantly so I know not to waste a lot of time with that lead, with that phone call. So first one, I was getting back to you about the home that you have available. Some are gonna be like, yeah, I've got a home available. That's when you move to number two. So it goes like this. Sounds like I caught you in the middle of something. Now I want you to think about this. Why would I say something like that? I finally get a hold of them, I call them back, and they're like, yeah, I've got a home for sale. Ah, sounds like I caught you in the middle of something. What this allows you to do is, it allows you to almost set the tone to make sure there's some kind of level of motivation. What do I mean by that? What am I looking for when I'm in my wholesaling business? I'm building this real estate business. What am I looking for? I'm looking for motivation. Number two already starts to let you know some sense of urgency, some sense of motivation. If they're like, oh, no, 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 don't, yeah, no, right now is a perfect time. That already lets me know they're ready to talk. They're ready to talk about a home that they wanna sell. And it could be during dinner time and they're like, no, 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 don't worry about it. Like right now is a good time. That allows me to know that there's already some motivation here. It doesn't mean like, oh my goodness, this is just something we book the appointment and get out there, but it's already letting me know, hey, this is someone I wanna continue the conversation with. Now, if they said, yeah, you caught me in the middle of something. Okay, no worries. Uh, when's a good time to reach back to you, right? Or you can still try and keep them on. Okay, so do you wanna, do you wanna talk about this or no? And you can kind of move the conversation forward. But for those that say, and most of them will, no, right now's a great time. That lets you know that there's some motivation. Keep moving forward. Question number three. That is, can you tell me a little bit about the property? Now, I want you guys to know watching this. It's not about the property. It's not about real estate. And you're going to be like, Cody, come on. We're trying to build a wholesaling real estate business here. Why is it not about real estate? That's simply the byproduct. It's all about serving people. But if you don't ask a question that's related to property, they're going to be like, well, are you even interested in my home? You haven't even asked me about my home. So right out of the gate with question number three is, can you tell me a little bit about the property? And they're gonna start telling you some details about it. You can get out a piece of paper. I don't really like the chicken pecking going on. Like I don't like to have it where you're typing the whole time because it sounds like now you're like big corporate America and you're looking to buy a bunch of homes. I like to just keep it simple. So 
I'm writing notes down maybe on a piece of paper and then if you have like a database you want to put in later, do it later. But don't don't have all these noises going on in the background, right? You should just keep it simple. So they're going to say, yeah, we just had some remodeling done on that. And if you have further questions, you can ask them about it. And they may tell you some of the things about it. Like, yeah, like right now the yard's in bad shape. You're taking notes about it. And here's where it gets really, really, really good. This is probably my favorite question of all. And that is question number four. So if you've already downloaded it and you're following with me, this is my favorite. Put a big old star by it. If you haven't downloaded it, maybe you're going to download it later. Just remember, question number four, huge star by the side of this question because this is where we start to find the real motivation. This is where we start to find out, am I really going to go on this appointment or not? When I talk to many of the students I work with or just individuals in general in wholesaling, this is their biggest pain point, number four. They don't know how to determine motivation. They don't know whether they should book appointments or not. And most of them end up going on a lot of appointments that they didn't need to go on because there was really no motivation. They just went out there because someone said, yeah, I'm looking to sell. That's not enough for me to go out on someone's appointment. So what I like to do is question number four. And remember, huge stars on the side of this question. And you just simply say this. It sounds like a nice property. Why are you considering selling it? Now, I want you to think about the tonality there. I've slowed down and I've even got to the point where I'm acting almost a little bit confused, almost a little bit shocked that they're selling their home. This is crucial. This is where they're going to start telling you the why. I don't really care that it has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Eh, I don't care. I don't really care that the lawn is two feet tall or that the roof needs to be repaired. I just don't really care about that. I want to know why why they're calling on my marketing piece. Maybe your marketing piece is direct mail. Maybe it's pay-per-click. Maybe it's cold calling. Whatever it may be, someone's calling you back. Why did they call you back? We all know real estate agents, but they're calling you back or they're calling on a 37-cent postcard. This question allows you to uncover the why. This is crucial. It's not about the home. It's about the homeowner. I want to know why they're willing to sell. What's going on in their life that's making them want to sell their home right now? So, it sounds like a great property. And if you want to think about it, think about like if you're scratching your head, like you're confused so that you start to get in roll with this question. Man, it sounds like a good property. Why are you considering selling it? And slow down and almost act shocked, like confused. And then just sit there in silence. This is crucial. So many times when silence happens, we feel like we have to like keep initiating the conversation. We got to keep talking. We got to keep going. It's the time to just sit. And if it's awkwardly silent for 10 seconds, just keep sitting there. Push yourself. So looks like a, sounds like a nice property. Why are you considering selling it? And just sit there. It could get quiet for a second, but sometimes they'll jump right into it. Well, I'm looking to move quick. I'm looking to do this. Or, hey, yeah, my husband got a new job and we got to be out of here in two weeks. Or sometimes what they'll tell you up front is really not what it really is. A lot of people don't want to tell you the real motivation. They want to hold that out. So you've got to keep asking these questions over and over. I like to stay on question number four for as long as it needs to be. If it needs to be 20 minutes or if it needs to be an hour, I will stay with this question. If they say, oh, we're looking to move so my kids can go to a new school district, I'll usually just mirror them. Oh, a new school district. And then just sit there. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit better school. Um, and so we're moving up there. And in fact, my parents live up there. Oh, your parents live up there. And then just sit there. Just keep mirroring the last three or four words of every sentence that they say and they keep going on a little bit more. Now, if they come to a silence, that's where I'd say something like, oh, your parents live up there. Tell me a little bit more about that. And then they start to go on a little bit about it. People love to talk about themselves. Now, they don't always love to tell you what's going wrong in their life or what's going on or what problems they have, but they're willing to open up little by little and it starts to give you a picture that there's things going on. Okay, so when's the time frame? Like you start to have to ask this. Are you looking to move up there next week? Are you looking to move up there in the next two months, three months? Start getting some timeline out of them. And you're gonna start listening and listening and listening. 
Guys, four is crucial. It's always about the why. I want you to think when it comes to just wholesaling and when it comes to real estate in general, we are looking and we're only going on appointments. We're looking for motiv motivation. Motivation can be in a couple things. It can be attached to the home or it can be attached to the seller. So think about that. Motivation. Is there something distressful going on to the property or is there something distressful going on in the seller's life? That's what we're looking for. That's why we're going on the appointment. This script right here, guys, that's as much as I'm gonna go through it because I've allowed, by putting a link down below, where you can have the rest of this script so that you can go through it and have it in your hands. I want you to use it each and every day. I want you to practice using this script on Craigslist. Start calling the ones that are like for sale by owners, the FISBOs, and start having great quality conversations each and every day. If you can do that and commit to that, you're gonna see how to find and uncover that motivation, what appointments you can go on, and this will lay it out for you. It's already set up with great psychology, great questions that allows you to find that one thing that we're looking for, what? Motivation. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you learn that you can have quality conversations, not being an expert. You can already have conversations right out of the gate, even being a beginner, and start to determine and find that motivation. Click on that link below, get your copy, but also while you're here, I want you to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so it alerts you when I update fresh new content and put it out there for you guys, and I'll see each one of you on the next video.